Welcome back to the homestead. Today I want to show you a quick tip um, on how to make your own suet cakes for your chickens. Now this lovely mess in this pan <laughs> is actually beef suet um, or tallow and I rendered it down and so it's it's all liquidy and golden and it's going to be the base of our suet cake. So I've pre-oiled some containers to pour it, the mixture into once I've mixed it up. And I've got all of the ingredients ready. We have some mulberries, some turmeric powder, a clove of chopped garlic, about a cup of um, steel cut oats. I'm going to put probably a cup of black oil sunflower seeds and as much of this organic scratch as I can. And then we're going to put it all in here, mix it up really well, and then pour it into these tins and let them harden. And that shouldn't take too long. You can put them in the fridge if you'd like. Um, but this will be good for the whole rest of the winter. And it's great for the girls to help them get through molting season and to give them some good protein and good energy and just it's a treat um, but the winters here in Maine are really cold and anything you can do to help your girls stay warm is such a treat for them and they just love it. I just wanted to give you an idea of the consistency and texture of what you're looking for. Um, I put a lot of stuff in and I don't think that it's liquid enough so that when it sets up um, it will harden around everything. I don't want there to be pieces that can just fall off because there wasn't enough oil. So I went ahead and added a little bit of um, some coconut oil and this will, you know, it, when it's cold it hardens just like the tallow and, and suet and stuff. So I just thought I would let you see the texture and how liquid it's going to be you can see it's kind of pours so I may add a little bit more but I think that's pretty good you want everything coated really well and um, you know you don't have to do what I did you can put any kind of fruit and nuts in um, if you have scratch or um, different kind of grains it's it's all good nuts make sure that the fruit is dry not um, you know a dehydrated kind of a fruit um, and they love pretty much everything I wouldn't do anything that's sweetened though you don't want them to have sugars so um, although I'm sure they would love it <laughs> um, but yeah you can experiment see what your chickens like you can see it's kind of yellow because of the turmeric but turmeric is so good and it's good for them and again it, it's just another you could even put some DE in here. They wouldn't know it, but I, I also put that in with their food. So, yeah, experiment. Try it out. See, see what they like. I'm sure they'll love it. All right, let's get this into the containers. <laughs> 